Good afternoon. After hours of testimony today, a federal judge has decided to postpone the sentencing of Castlin Welch, the woman who helped her cousin slash boyfriend, John McCluskey, and another inmate escape from an Arizona prison in 2010, then murder an Oklahoma couple here in New Mexico. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live outside federal court with more. Gabrielle. Kim, the judge says she's considering a 40 year sentence for Castlin Welch, something defense attorneys argued wasn't fair since John McCluskey was the actual killer in this case. Now, this is old video of Welch. Cameras are not allowed in federal court. A teary eyed Welch addressed the victim's family today in court, apologizing for their deaths. She pled guilty to helping John McCluskey, Tracy Province, and another inmate escape from an Arizona prison in 2010, then helping to carjack Gary and Linda Haas as the couple was traveling through New Mexico. McCluskey shot and killed the Haases. Welch, Province, and McCluskey then set the trailer they were hauling on fire with the Haases' bodies inside. Today in court, Welch's attorneys played audio recordings of phone calls that took place before the murders between McCluskey and Welch while McCluskey was in the Arizona prison. In the conversations, McCluskey threatened Welch at points and coerced his mother to get Welch to visit him. The psychologist described Welch and McCluskey's relationship as an avenue for abuse and said Welch did what he told her out of fear. Now, in the recordings, defense, defense attorneys painted a picture of McCluskey of how he would control his environment, even from within inside prison walls. Now, again, a judge did not determine a final sentence for Welch today. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, the judge gave attorneys two more weeks to file motions in the case. Defense attorneys for Welch argued if she gets that 40 years, that would be equivalent to a life sentence. The other accomplice in the case, Tracy Province, is scheduled for sentencing right now. Now, the mastermind of the crime, John McCluskey, is scheduled to be sentenced tomorrow. It is simply a formality. When jurors fail to unanimously vote for the death penalty after his conviction, McCluskey automatically got a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Earlier this month, McCluskey asked that his sentencing date be moved up. McCluskey is the one who actually pulled the trigger, killing Gary and Linda Haas.